Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be telling you the best fighting style for each race in Blocks Roots. Now, this is my opinion, but I do think my opinion's very good. If you disagree with me, tell me what you think is the actual best fighting style for each race in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. Let's start off with the human race. Human is good for having high damage and high mobility, especially in the V4, where you get three teleports and an increasing damage meter. Because it is such great mobility and damage, I thought that the best fighting style would have to be God Human, which I have got right here. Because the moves for God Human can be used super fast, it pairs well with the speed and high damage of the human race, allowing you to do one-shot combos before the opponent even realizes what's happening. Along with that, you also get a little bit extra mobility with the two moves, the Z move and the X move. The next race is the Rabbit race. Rabbit is just pure speed. As the only thing it is good for is running, and often just running away, Rabbit's high speed would pair really well with Electric Claw. With both Rabbit and Electric Claw, you can run around your opponents super fast while teleporting with your Electric Claw abilities. This will make the opponent unable to keep track of where you are or where you are going. But just remember to run in random directions to help with them not knowing where you are. The next race is the Shark race. Shark is the tank race, being able to use the V3 and V4 abilities to survive almost all one-shot combos. As well as that, the V4 even provides the Shark race with the ability to slow the opponents down. That gave me the idea that Sangwon Art would be the best fighting style for the Shark race. Not only does the Z ability give you the option to heal, as you can see I heal a lot of health back just by using the Z ability. So that little health that you lose while the opponent tries to one-shot combo you will be instantly replaced, while the slowing that Shark V4 gives you also assists in the opponent not being able to get away from your C ability or when it explodes it will almost always hit them, especially after they used all their moves trying to one-shot combo you so they can't get away. Next we have the Angel Race. Angel is all about staying in the air with their flight ability in V4, as well as the healing and slight defense that they get from their V3 ability. Not only that, but the V4 also grants an aura that stuns and damages enemies, which allows you to have the upper hand while fighting close to your enemies. I would have to say that the best fighting style for Angel would either be Electric Claw or God Human. The reason I picked these two is because they both have moves where you can stay close to your enemy for a decent amount of time, such as the Z and X move for Electric Claw and the Z and C move for God Human. Now these moves that help you stay close to the enemy allow you to do extra damage with your aura around them. Both of these fighting styles also give tons of mobility as well, just in case your flight is too slow or annoying to start up. Now we're up to the Ghoul Race. Ghoul has some life leech on enemies, as well as a domain expansion which negates opponents healing, making them partially blind, and also launching crows at them when you dash, if you have it upgraded anyway. It also reduces your cooldown on all of your moves, which is great for something like Sanguine Art. Not only do they both look like they were made for each other with this colour palette, but the life leech from the Ghoul race as well as the health from the Bloodbane Drain Z move right here, pair together really well, healing you a ton of health back, allowing you to stay alive for much longer. Now the reduced cooldowns also allow you to use your X and C move way more often, allowing you to harass your enemies from a distance more than you usually can. And finally, the Cyborg Race. Cyborg has extra defense, extra damage, multiple ways to keep your opponent's observation off, AoE on all your moves, and some extra mobility in V4 as well. This makes the Cyborg race a jack of all trades, meaning that it is extremely versatile in anything you want to do. Now most of you will be shocked by what I have picked for the best fighting style for the Cyborg race, but I have chosen Death Step. Now just hear me out for a second. Usually, Death Step is kinda doo-doo when compared to the other upgraded fighting styles. Considering that the Z move does not break Observation Haki, the C move does not break Observation Haki, and the X move only breaks Observation when it hits an object like this wall or the ground. 
it's really hard to get a good combo in. These downsides all disappear when using Cyborg because it has multiple ways of turning off the opponent's observation. If you use the V ability on Death Step to make all your abilities do fire damage, then attack your opponent with the Kick Barrage and use your Cyborg V3 ability, the opponent will be taking damage from the fire on the ground, from the kicks that you're doing, and also from all the tons of ways that Cyborg gives you extra damage, like the V3 ability. Death Step in the hands of a good Cyborg user would be an amazing choice. Now yes, you can still use other fighting styles, but I think it just works really well together. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.